it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video I thought it would be fun to share what I got for Christmas. I know, I know, don't come at me. I know the reason of Christmas. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus for your son, I do. But I thought this would also be a really fun video to do before I take this Christmas tree down, right? All right, so let's just jump right into it. On December 18th, myself and a group of friends, I will share the picture again right here, we went out just to kind of meet up again. We've been friends for like over 30 years, so it was just a nice little meet up for Christmas, and we also did a gift exchange. Well, the person that pulled my name, my friend that pulled my name, she just so happens to work at Netflix, so our budget was $30 for this gift exchange, but I must say, I, I got pretty lucky. First thing I got was this beautiful Netflix water bottle, which I love, and one of the main reasons that I love it, first of all, I love white, like things that are like super clean, I love them, but also, this water bottle fits in my cup holder unlike all of my other water bottles. So it's large and it holds a lot of water, but it also fits into the cup holder and it doesn't tilt over. So amazing, very amazing. The next gift that she gave me, can you guys even see this throw? Can you see that Netflix branding, Netflix and chill? <laughs> So yeah, it's this beautiful throw that I've been using ever since the first night that I first got it. Oh, I just love this. Like I am one that I'm always cold. Like we actually have a bucket of blankets in our living room because I'm always cold. And I just love snuggling up with a nice, oh, warm, plush blanket. So this was such an amazing gift. And I'm just gonna put this over here, back on the couch. Ugh. And the final gift that she gave me, you guys know your girl's kind of bougie with the coffee, but I'm also kind of cheap. Frugal, frugal, I'm very frugal. So the fact that she gifted me with this $25 gift card to Starbucks was a really nice gift. So I cannot wait to use this. Can't wait to treat myself. I'm gonna wait for a day where it's one of those days where even though you love what you do, you just wake up like, do I really have to go in today? Like, do I really have to go to work today? I'm gonna have Starbucks on that day. So if you follow me on Instagram over at happily ever after living underscore, and you see me flash a Starbucks cup one day, it was that kind of day. <laughs> it was that kind of day. All right, the next gift that I'm gonna share with you guys, so for our family gift exchange, my youngest son, pulled my name again for the third year in a row. The third year, can you believe that? I think, I don't know, like if, cause there's, you know, the five of us, I don't know if anyone else has pulled each other's name. I think he's pulled my name more than anyone else has, like duplicated anyone else. It was hilarious. Like when he pulled it, I could tell on his, like just from his facial expression, he was just, he just like slapped himself over the forehead. And I was like, did you get my name again? Because <laughs> I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you. But then he eventually ended up telling me that, yes, he got my name again. And But the good part is that he didn't need a list. He knew exactly what to give me and he knew that I would be very happy and excited about it. So I'll share it with you guys here. Uh, my family knows how crazy I am about my planners and budgeting and all the fun stuff. So he bought me these highlighters. Um, again, we had a limit of $30. So he bought me these highlighters and he bought me these paper mate pens in all different colors. I just love, this is like the perfect gift. And my family also knows how crazy I am about lip gloss and lip balms. I'm pretty sure he wasn't particular like about the actual flavor, even though I love tropical stuff. So this is like a mango. And then this is like um, sugar cane, blackberry. I'm pretty sure he just knows that I love pink. So he picked the pink ones. Lip balms. There we go. So there's one. And then here's the other one. Perfect. These were perfect gifts from my son. I love and appreciate them. And now that I'm finally filming this video, once I'm done, I'm finally going to open these because I have lip balms everywhere. Like literally every time I get in and out of the car, between patients, I'm always reapplying because your lips just get so dry under those masks. 
and anytime I'm out walking or working out, I apply before, sometimes during, I just, I think what it is, I know like for me, I can't speak for most people, but for me, when my lips get dry, and we do live in Florida, so it, it's hot here, um, but whenever my lips get dry, like they burn, so I avoid that feeling at all costs. So these are gonna come in extremely, extremely handy. All right guys, so the next gift that I'm gonna share with you, I have to give my daughter credit. She's 18 years old and she actually used her own money and she asked um, my husband to go in on half, but what? <laughs> oh my gosh, so okay. I know some people have mixed feelings about Michael Kors. Like some people feel like the brand is played out because everyone can afford it now. So like everyone's like stepped up, you know, as far as luxury handbags go. But for me, I still love the brand because, you know, it's like right at that price point where the material for me, it lasts forever. I never have any issues, any issues with it. And then also the brand for me is like a, it's kind of classic, but it's not too, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but it's also still kind of sporty a little bit i don't know i don't know if i'm making sense or not but i love this bag let me show you guys here it is how cute is that so it's really um a lot of women would probably think this is small this is called the um jet set it's part of the jet set travel um this is the what is it this is like the cross bag, the tote, you know? I'm sure it has some fancy name. I'll put it down in the description box for you guys. But I love this bag because the only thing I actually carry in my purse, and I can actually do a what I care, what's in my, what's in my bag? Yeah, I've seen those videos on YouTube too. You know, like a what's in my bag video where I show you guys everything that's in my purse. But that video will probably be like, three seconds long because I'll just tell you now. The only thing I carry in my purse is um, lip gloss or balm, my wallet, keys, and that's it. Maybe a pen and one highlighter, but that's probably it. Honestly, I don't carry a lot of stuff. Oh, maybe hand lotion too. And I would say my sunglasses, but whenever I have sunglasses, they're on the top of my head. So yeah, I don't really need a whole lot. I don't carry large bags because I tend to fill them up. <laughs> so like for instance, my work bag, that thing is just, it's ridiculous. Like I have everything in there. If you want it, if you want a screwdriver, it's probably in my bag, in my work bag. So yeah, I don't really carry a lot of things in my purse. So this is the perfect size. And I love the fact that she, she knew I wanted another purse, but I just wouldn't pull the trigger and buy it for myself. And I also wanted one in this color. Like I, okay, so yes, I actually love this bag, but I just wouldn't pull the trigger and like buy one for myself because I had other financial priorities that I felt were more important. But the fact that she went ahead and purchased it for me with her own money and just had my husband like send her half of it so they wouldn't half on it. I thought that was very sweet and amazing. Oh, but you guys, the card. So I opened up the bag and everything. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But the card is what made me cry. It's not that long. My kid does not have a lot of, she doesn't say a lot of words. Like. It's not that long, so. It says, Merry Christmas, Mom. We love you and are very thankful for all you do for us. Ah! <sighs> so sweet. Look at that. So sweet. And the fact that she had it, like, printed, like, she put the special note when she ordered the bag, like, that is such a me thing. My girl, she's so organized. She's so organized. I love it, I love it. Great job, Brooklyn. All right, so moving on. The next gift that I got for Christmas, I need to readjust. This chair is kind of low, so I gotta like sit up a little bit. The next gift that I got for Christmas, it was a couple's gift from my mom, which I thought was really special because I don't really expect my mom to buy things for us, for me, for my husband, because, well, I should expect it because she does it every year. But honestly, like the kids, I don't really expect her to even do for the kids, but I know that she's going to, but that would be enough. But this year, she bought us a $50 gift card to Panera's. <laughs> 
absolutely love this. She actually said to me, she's like, what's something that you guys would like? And I was like, mom, we love, like we've been trying to be more intentional about date nights and just spending that one-on-one -on -one time together. But Panera's is the place where we go, where we try to sneak away from our kids like early in the morning before they wake up. And we just leave the bedroom door closed and they think that we're still in there asleep or whatever. They don't come to bother us. They don't even notice that we're gone until we walk back through the front door. So it's amazing. This was a very thoughtful gift and I appreciate it. Mom, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you so much. Now, <laughs> the next thing I got, all right guys, so my husband and I each had a budget of $150 for Christmas. That was the final number we came up with as we sat down and we did our Christmas budget and well, as I sat down and did the Christmas budget, I figured that we should both be able to you know, splurge 150 bucks on whatever it is that we want. So, I have been mentioning that my, my boobs are getting smaller. So I have moved from, from a 40D slash 38 double D to a size 38C. So I actually replaced my underwear, like my panties earlier this year. Um, I went from an extra large to a large. If you feel like this is TMI, then click out, click, click out. Don't leave me a comment, tell me about it, just click out. If it's too much information for you, click out. But for the girls that want to know, I went down from I started my journey at 260 pounds and I was in a size extra large underwear, panties, whatever. And now I've gone down to a large and I replaced those when I hit the 30 pound mark. But I was, I had not replaced my um, bras cause they can be kind of pricey, you know? But I did buy some more. Oh, where I was going with that is that I bought a single color palette whenever I replaced the underwear so what I did was I got bras that match that same color palette look how pretty so I don't know if the color is really showing up well on camera or not but they match the underwear so um yeah and I just got these from Marshall's like these three together were these three were $19.99 and then I also got these three as well these are by Jessica Simpson so this one has a print in it. They're not showing up very well on my end. I don't know how they're showing up on. But these were $19.99 as well. So I spent, I actually wrote it down. I spent $42.75. So $42.75 on bras from Marshalls. And I didn't buy like really expensive ones because I don't know like how soon I may have to replace them again. And I just didn't want to feel bad about having to replace them. These are by, these are like more pretty, whatever, more lacy, but these are like t-shirt style, like real soft, you know? This brand, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, but I'll put it down in the description bar if anyone's interested. Renee, Renee Rofi, Ruffy, R-O-F-E. I'm so sorry, like I'm not a brand's girl at all with my bag, but yeah. So yeah, I bought these and lastly, you watched the videos, you've heard me complain about my sports bras are getting too roomy. The girls are just moving everywhere and we gotta take care of that. So went to the Nike outlet in Orlando and I found some size large sports bras and they're high impact. Um, I don't know if you guys know, like if you're ever shopping at Nike, like, I don't know if you know how to tell these level of support. So if you can see right here, like if it has one shaded in, then that's low impact. If it has two shaded in, then that's medium impact. And if it has three shaded in, then that's high impact. And I like high impact for running and walking activities because I don't like my girls to move. So these were on clearance for $19.99 and I got three of them. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. And it looks like to me they're showing up as the same color, but they're not. Like one is more bluish in one, and the other's like more violet y type, whatever. Now I'll tell you guys this. The plus size bras, man, they have them in every color. Like I guess once you move down to a large, there is competition. So <laughs> I had like very few to choose from. Oh. I don't I don't really like that and then I also got this one it's cute I thought that this was like a misprint because it says Nike like it has like every Nike 
thing? Why? Like we know that it's Nike. Why does it have to have the Nike with the check? Plain Nike, just the swoosh, then the swoosh, and then swoosh written in it, and then just do it, and then Nike. Like, you talk about branding, I gotta come up here and show you guys this. It's just overkill, guys. But I still think it's cute. <laughs> and I bought it, I spent my coins on it. So, obviously, I'm talking smack about it, but listen. I trust Nike with my girls, I do. So Nike, if you wanna sponsor your girl, this is my second time reaching out. I hit you up on Instagram, you didn't respond. Here's your second chance. <laughs> I love y'all, man, even with, even with the craziness. I love you, holla at me. Email's in the description box. All right guys, so I spent a total of 64.47 at Nike for those sports bras and so for myself, I spent a total of $107.25 and I still have, yes, about $42.78 remaining. So yeah, that is what I got for Christmas. I didn't spend the re um, remaining amount of um, my Christmas cash because I actually need to save it for another pair of shoes. Let me show you guys real quickly. Okay, so I bought these shoes in October, like literally, the beginning of October. They're a pair of Asics. I'll link these down in, this, in the description as well. But look at this. This is how much walking and jogging I've been doing. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna save the remaining amount of my um, money from my Christmas budget and just include it with my um, self-care money that I allow myself every two weeks and eventually I'll save enough money to be able to buy myself another pair of shoes because it's almost time. Some would argue that it's already time. So yeah, that's what I got for Christmas. I am so excited. I love everything that I have. I'm so thankful and appreciative. I love, um, yeah, my love language is not gifts. It's actually acts of service. So even though these are gifts from other people, the fact that they like thought about me is what, like the act of service of like what they gave me means more. So like for some people, they probably would want like, you know, like bigger gifts, but like for me, just the fact that they chose these items themselves, to me that's like an act of service and that is definitely, definitely my love language. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This will be Vlogmas 19 and then on tomorrow I'll upload, um, I'm gonna give myself like a little report card of how I did uh, wellness wise with my holiday diet, workout, sleep, all of that stuff. So that would be labeled Vlogmas 20. And then after that, I'm dropping the whole Vlogmas thing. <laughs> I did my best. I actually think I did pretty good. Like I was very consistent this month and it also kind of gave me an idea of what you guys like. So thank you for that. And if you don't mind, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below, give me some more video ideas. Like I'm not going anywhere guys, I'm here to stay. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.